Hey, I'm Bill from First Care Provider. I got Kevin. He's going to help me today. We're going to show you how to make a tourniquet. If you don't have a commercial tourniquet like this cat, we're going to show you a couple things you can do with some material and a couple of simple things to make a tourniquet. So, so what we're doing, we've got Kevin's arm. We're simulating that he has an injury at the bottom of his arm. We're taking our material, which is a just regular necktie, in this case, Scooby-Doo. Okay, we're going to take the key ring and slide it onto the necktie before we put it around his arm. Slide it up nice and high. Wrap it around his arm, make a knot, just a simple square knot, nothing fancy here, right, to lock it in place. All right now we'll take those ends, we'll go ahead and put a second knot. And that second knot will give us a place to take our carabiner, lick, click it in there, and that's going to give us the ability to twist that down and gain a lot of mechanical advantage. So that's acting as the, you know, the standard stick. Nice and tight, control the hemorrhage, hopefully stop arterial blood flow. And you can see the advantage of this is now that I've got it nice and tight, I can take that windlass, I can open up the gate, and then I can go ahead and clip it right in to the ring as that ring slides around. And that'll lock it in place, that'll keep it from loosening it up, that'll keep it nice and tight. And now I'm reaching down, kind of checking to see that if he has a pulse. And if he did have a palpable pulse, then it wouldn't be an effective tourniquet, even if it had slowed the bleeding. I'd go back up and I'd try to tighten it as much as... I possibly could. You know, you want to stop that arterial blood flow into the arm. Hey, thanks for checking out our video. Please share it with your family and friends. And if you want more information on how you can save a life, check out how to become a first care provider. Check out our free first there first care program at firstcareprovider.org. As always, stay safe.